So we've been making a shower base. Why are you going to make a shower base yourself? Um, why wouldn't you go to B&Q and buy one? Because there's loads there and they're nice and cheap and they're good quality too. The thing is, on a narrowboat, every little centimetre counts. And from here to there is about 83 centimetres. That gives you another inch in the shower, um, which, um, which is brilliant. Plus, it's a little deep, this shower, which if the pump is not working or if you haven't set it off, then it gives you a little bit of time to notice it because if somebody sloshes um, in, in the shower or somebody comes on the boat and it moves, then there could be a little bit of a, a wave pool going on there and you don't want this water in the bottom of your boat. There's also, this is in reverse here, don't forget, that goes up the side of the tiles. We use fiberglass sheeting down the side of the boat, made exactly the same color as the shower as, as well. As we put the, um, the, the plug in the back. Now, this is the beginning. This is an MDF um, mold in this case, and it's a temporary mold. We'll get about 10 uses out of it. And what we do is we make it into MDF, we smooth it, and then we coat it with this stuff called Duratec, which after that will sand down um, or wet and dry down to a, a glassy surface, then we'll put wax on, and then we'll put gel coat on, and then we'll put fiberglass on, and we'll show you that process going all the way through. <laughs> all done now, top polishing job done by Alec, who's actually holding the camera right now, but then I get to do all the easy bits. So then he's gonna put mold cleaner on, and then he's going to do put mold sealer on, and then he's going to put fast release on, and he's going to spend quite a bit of time putting some honey wax on there to get about six levels of um, coating, separation barrier between the mold and the part that we're going to pull off. And the part that we're going to pull off is the shower. So there you have it. Finished item, all polished up, looking lovely. Main difference with this tray is that we have a flange at the back and we find that great for putting a fiberglass sheet over the top so you've got a really good seal at the bottom of the shower and you only need a minimum amount of silicon. Silicon always goes black after a period of time. Um, the back edge here, um, we fit these um, things that are usually available from um, a, a place called Midland Chanda. So, so we get those, they don't cost an awful lot of money. What's lovely is that if you fit it in the floor of a narrowboat, there's not a lot going underneath it. And these, um, the, the, the piece that comes off here can easily fit a suction pipe on with a simple jubilee clip. So that all goes together. And we don't put a hole here. That's for the boat builder to put a little hole saw through there. Not a difficult thing to do. So coming around here, um, you'll have some aluminium tracking or brass tracking for the glass walls to fit in here. And then this rebate here is to provide a, a surface for a little bit of timber cladding. So we always uh, finish things off uh, a little bit like that. The other thing that we do a little bit differently is at the top of the shower screen, we fill that area in. So it's a completely sealed unit. It means that your shower room, your bathroom, isn't full of steam all of the time. And it's um, it's like a little Turkish bath in there. So brilliant, um, here we are. This is the finished shower, the shower base in the bottom. And it's slightly larger, ever so slightly larger than a standard one. And that's because every centimeter really does count on a narrow boat. Um, this is a particularly nice shower door. It's got these, um, I forget what you call it, but I think they call it patent glass or something like that. But this is 10 mil glass, so it really feels like the pack deal. And these very impressive hinges here. And when I'm standing inside, um, everything looks um, and, and feels really solid. It's a beautifully made thing. And of course, because we've chosen the gel coat, we can choose what's on this backing piece here. And we make this ourselves. So everything is lovely and um, I think homogeneous, I think they might say. But um, there we go, that's it how to make a shower base and now you see it in reality with a nice big step up there 
that um, so down here so that you can um, you don't get any swashing around um, thank you very much is it back to me yet yep. alright brilliant ciao ciao